Speaking of trades, we've seen this in years past. If a trade were to happen, a player could be traded for a draft pick on draft night or even draft day, depending on the round. Which players could be traded and find new NFL teams to play for in 2021? Seen in years past. Last year, actually, Trent Williams was traded from the Washington football team to the San Francisco 49ers. Matt Breida was traded from the 49ers to the Dolphins. Also, other notable names, Tavon Austin as well, in years past has been uh, traded on draft day. There's a lot of players that could be traded, and they're not necessarily household names, but they're worthy enough of making some sort of impact on an NFL team. So we narrowed it down to four players that could be traded on draft day. First up, let's keep the lights orange in the back because we're going to talk about David Njoku of the Cleveland Browns. Is a candidate to be traded. Has been a candidate for a very long time after Austin Hooper had his breakout season for the Browns. And Harrison Bryant was drafted last year by the Cleveland Browns as well to be a good secondary tight end. There's no need for Njoku at this point. Uh, his contract is going to come up to an end pretty soon. So you'd want to get rid of him. And the Browns asking price at this point is a third rounder. It's been a third rounder on the trade block for so many months at this point. But I don't think that any NFL team has budged because he's not worth a third rounder in their eyes. They believe that he's worth a fourth rounder or less. So if that were the case, if a team were to make a trade for David Njoku, then it would be day three trade, rounds four through seven. Because at this point, his value is just continuing to drop. And the Browns at this point just want to get rid of him. So... Njoku could be a trade candidate, and what are some teams that could go after David Njoku? Well, you've got the Arizona Cardinals, the Carolina Panthers, the Cincinnati Bengals, and the Jacksonville Jaguars. So those are four teams that desperately need a tight end. The Cardinals don't have a third or fourth round pick, so it's going to be hard for them unless they make some moves in the NFL draft to acquire a third or fourth rounder to make a trade for David Njoku. The Carolina Panthers, they could make a trade for him. Uh, but I feel like after that Sam Darnold trade, they already gave us some draft picks for next year's draft. I don't feel like that they would really want to make a trade for David Njoku. The Cincinnati Bengals could make a trade for him, but depending on what happens in the top five, who knows, Kyle Pitts could fall to you. And if you get Kyle Pitts, no need for him. The Jaguars make the most sense because you get a weapon for Trevor Lawrence. You keep on improving that offense. You have 10 picks in the NFL draft, like I mentioned, and getting Najoku for a fourth rounder or a fifth rounder because you have two of each would not be a bad move. So uh, the Jaguars seem like the favorite to trade for David Najoku if that were to happen. But David Najoku, trade target number one. Number two, going over to the Dallas Cowboys. They have some very good offensive weapons on that team, including a plethora of wide receivers that they not they don't necessarily need on their team. And that includes Amari Cooper, CeeDee Lamb, and Michael Gallup. Out of those three, it's going to be Michael Gallup that's going to be a trade target on draft night. Cowboys love him. They really do. But after last season with the emergence of CeeDee Lamb with – yeah, Dak Prescott's injury had a lot to do with it, but Michael Gallup saw a dip of production and he went back to being the clear number three rece receiver in that Dallas Cowboys offense. So good player, could make an impact, but if drafting CeeDee Lamb means anything last year, it means that the Dallas Cowboys are content with Cooper and Lamb as their one and two uh, at wide receiver. So if you want to use him as a good trade target to get more draft picks, you could. I feel like his value is he's going to be a late day two to early day three trade target. So third round, fourth round. I wouldn't trade anything less than that or anything more than that either. I think that's his value as a third rounder or a fourth rounder to be traded from the Dallas Cowboys. But that could happen because he's also in a contract year as well. So you'd want to get rid of him before you have to resign him. Might as well just get something out of it. What are some teams that could trade for him? Again, we go back to the Jacksonville Jaguars. 10 picks in the NFL draft. That's very, very important. Could get another weapon to, to team up with Marvin Jones, LaVisca Chenault, uh, DJ Chark in that wide receiver core. The New York Jets pair him up with Corey Davis. The Bengals, T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd. The Dolphins have also been in the talks of getting some weapons, complimentary of Will Fuller and Devontae Parker. The Eagles desperately need a weapon. The Lions, the Packers, there's just so many teams out there that could really good or use a good wide receiver. And Michael Gallup, if I was an NFL team, I'd be calling the Dallas Cowboys, be like, listen, 
I know he's on the decline. I know he's in the contract year. I know you're not going to re-sign him because you've already got two other good wide receivers and two other wide receivers you want to spend money on. What what's what's the deal with Michael Gallup? Can we get him? With these teams, I mean, you know, you could trade your draft picks for him. It's all dependent on what happens in the NFL draft. For instance, for the Miami Dolphins, if they draft Jamar Chase at number six, you probably aren't going to make a trade for Michael Gallup. The Eagles, if you get Devontae Smith, Jalen Waddell at number 12, probably aren't going to get Michael Gallup. The Lions, if they stay at number seven and they get Devontae Smith, probably not going to get Gallup. So a lot of options for a lot of teams and a lot of things could happen. But keep in mind that Gallup could be a name that could be talked about as a trade candidate on draft night. Another team that could be thinking about trading away an NFL player, the LA Rams could be trading away a very good running back. That is Daryl Henderson, who is now the running back to in LA. The smart thing for the Rams would be to keep Daryl Henderson. Okay, I don't think that Cam Akers is bad. I don't think that he's not capable of being a three-down back. I love Cam Akers, especially, especially if you play fantasy football. We haven't done our draft rankings just yet. That's going to be after the NFL draft. We're going to be working on those. But Cam Akers is going to be a very good player in the NFL. So he's going to be a good player for the LA Rams. But Daryl Henderson would be a good compliment in case anything were to happen to Cam Akers. So it would be smart for the Rams to keep uh, Daryl Henderson. But if you are getting a lot of offers for Henderson, who is capable of being a starting running back in the NFL, which he proved last year, then I would just listen to offers, at least hear them out. Because you have teams like the Atlanta Falcons who need a running back. The New York Jets need a running back. The Pittsburgh Steelers need one. Those three teams should be calling about Daryl Henderson, who is now the number two back and probably will not be used a lot in the LA Rams offense unless something were to happen to Cam Akers. The reason I say it's not going to be used a lot because last year was an indication of Sean McVay truly believes in the hot hand theory with the running back position. He doesn't believe in necessarily, maybe early on he believed in running back by committee approach, but once someone has the hot hand, he's going to give them all the carries. Once Cam Akers emerged as the number one back in those games against the Arizona Cardinals, against the New England Patriots, he was willing to feed the ball to him 25 to 30 times a game. So if Daryl Henderson wants any hope of continuing to be a good player in the NFL and getting a lot of carries in the NFL, then his best bet would be to uh, to be traded away from the LA Rams to someone like the Atlanta Falcons, the New York Jets, or the Pittsburgh Steelers who could desperately need a running back of his caliber. So I feel like Darrell Henderson has a lot of value, a lot of stock. I see him as a day two trade candidate. So a second round pick or a third round pick, I would value Darrell Henderson to be a trade target. So keep that in mind. The last one, another running back, Sony Michelle. Used to be so good for the New England Patriots, was drafted out of Georgia over Nick Chubb, which is uh, debatable on if that was the right choice or not. But it just hasn't been working out with the Patriots and Sony Michelle. And the emergence of da- Damian Harris as the lead ground back in New England proves that Sony Michelle and his value is just continuing to dip, that the Patriots would be happy for moving on with him. To put it in this perspective, I don't see Sony Michelle continuing to be a New England Patriot for for long. I feel like once his contract comes to an end, he's going to be a free agent. He's not going to resign. He's going to go on with an, another NFL team and hopefully have a chance to prove that he's capable of being a starting running back in the NFL. So if that's the case and you have no you know, sort of indication or agenda of resigning him, why not just get rid of him? Get rid of him and get something out of it while you can. There's a lot of NFL teams that can use him. For instance, the Atlanta Falcons, the New York Jets, and the Pittsburgh Steelers could all talk about getting Sony Michelle. Falcons, get back that Georgia boy. Get Sony Michelle. The Jets, pair him up with Tevin Coleman. The Steelers, instead of getting Najee Harris, get Landon Dickerson in the first round and get Sony Michelle as a good compliment running back committee approach with Benny Snell. So, those are some options. I think his value is just so low at this point just because of how the Patriots have been playing him. 
is not the lead back anymore, has been a little bit on a decline. And I think his value at this point is a day three trade for Sony Michelle. So to recap those trade targets that we have in the NFL draft, David Njoku, Michael Gallup, Daryl Henderson, and Sony Michelle. All going to be trade targets. Speaking of the Patriots and other trade targets, I don't know if you guys saw this picture that's been floating around. It was a picture of uh, someone's desk. I don't know whether he worked for the Packers or the Patriots, but it was someone's desk with, with a piece of paper sticking out. And if you zoom in real quick, it shows a proposed trade between the Packers and the Patriots where the Packers would trade Jordan Love and some other draft picks for the Patriots and their draft picks. I don't know. Could happen. I don't feel like that's really going to happen just because Jordan Love is, is just too big of a name to be drafted or traded on draft night. I, I feel like the Packers would just want to keep him for this point. But that could happen. Who knows? 